In early July 1947, a local rancher, Mac Brazo, discovered a lot of strange debris on his property, varying from ultralight aluminum paper to small pieces of what looked like balsam wood. A few days later, he told the town sheriff, George Wilcox, who advised the military base outside of Roswell, headquarters of the 509th Bomb Squadron, the only unit in the world with an atom bomb. That same day, Major Jesse Marcel and Captain Sheridan Cavett showed up to recover the debris. A few hours later, Colonel Blanchard, commander of the Roswell base, issued a press release stating that they had captured a flying saucer. But once the debris had been shipped off to the military base in Fort Worth, Texas, authorities retracted that statement. General Roger Ramey, commander of the 8th Air Force, stated that the debris found in Roswell was nothing more than the remnants of a weather balloon. The Roswell case was closed 